Hello, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com, and today we're going to look at the Olympus Pen F. Thanks to David, who lent me the camera. Let's start. First of all, thank you again to David, who uh, lent me the... Well, David, I say in English, his name is David, but is, this video is in English, so I'll say David. Okay, thank you again. One thing uh, that is important is that uh, on some uh, website, uh, online stores, they are telling that this camera is discontinued. Uh, there is no confirmation from Olympus as it's still available on their website. And there are some rumors that a new Olympus uh, Pen F Mark II uh, will come out. Uh, but there are just rumors, There's, there are no confirmation at the time I make this video, okay? So, I think this is exactly the right moment to review this camera. If it's really discontinued, it, this is the right time because first it's been on the, on the street, on the road, on, on, on for sale for about two or three years. So we know uh, what's good, what's bad. Second, when there's a new uh, camera coming out, uh, there are a lot of offers on the former one and on the last one and also many people want the new one and sell their camera second hand so there are a lot of very good opportunities uh, i'm going to tell you a bit more about this camera right now this is the moment when many people make uh, advertisement for third party uh, companies so i'm not going to do for third parties i just tell you that below my videos i now put a list of my gear my photography gear with links to amazon amazon uk and amazon usa uh, so if there is any material you wish to buy uh, on Amazon, please use my link. It will cost you the same thing, but it gives me a small commission and that helps me maintain the, the, my YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. Okay, no obligation. If you find cheaper anywhere else or more practical, whatever, buy somewhere else or you have your favorite shop, obviously buy in the shop always before buying to Amazon. Okay, so l l let's carry on. So I'm going to give you a bit some, uh, some information about technical information about this camera. You may know that I use Olympus for over three years. I use the OMD EM5 Mark II. Uh, yeah, Olympus names are a bit complicated always. Uh, I, put, uh, I put a link to the review uh, up there, okay? And I'm going to tell you a bit more about this. This camera is between the OMD EM5 Mark II and the OMD EM1 Mark II. So uh, the resolution is 20 megapixel, the same as the one Mark II, uh, mine has uh, 16. But there are some uh, features that, that are on both cameras. For example, the live composite uh, that lets you do a long exposure is on this. You have the high res, but the high res, the same as my camera, which is a, 50, a JPEG of 50 megapixels or RAW of 64, when the OMD1 Mark II has, uh, I think, is uh, up to 80 megapixels if it's in RAW. Okay. The burst rate is 11 pictures per second. The only one has a 18 and up to 60 and a pro capture feature of this that is not on this. Okay, so basically these are uh, the basic difference and the look and everything. So I'm going to show you the camera. This camera is really thought for street photography or easy uh, travel photography. Here you have the switch on, switch off. Uh, as you can see, it looks like the, the rewinder for film cameras. By the way, this is designed the same as uh, the very old Pen F uh, analog camera that was uh, off uh, frame uh, camera. It means on the 36 roll of film, 36 exposure uh, roll of film, you could 36 frame, you could do 72. So they retook, uh, they've retaken the, the look. And so here you have uh, the switch that looks like the, the rewinder of the film. Here you have a uh, typical uh, uh, change the mode, that manual, uh, aperture priority, uh, speed. But you have also uh, four uh, profile, uh, configuration profile you can keep. On mine is only three. Here you have the exposure compensation button. It's very access. Here you have uh, the video uh, recording. It makes full HD, not 4K. It makes full HD, okay. And the shutter. And uh, here you have the trigger. On the Leica 3F, you have a low speed control here. And here actually what they've put is uh, some uh, photography profile. You want, to you want to make black and white, sepia, some color things or whatever. You have uh, some uh, ready profile here. 
And I know that many people say I prefer to work in RAW and do it in my computer, so do I. But many people want things simple. They want to have the, cam the, the picture ready out of the camera. So they like to have this feature uh, in body. It's four thirds. I don't remove the, the, the lens to show you uh, the, sens the sensor because it's very dusty here. You can put any uh, micro four third lens on it. Uh, although I always recommend to have the same make, the same brand. If you use an Olympus camera, use Olympus uh, lens. There are some Sigma also. But uh, if you want to cross over to Panasonic, there are some things that will not work. Like for example, uh, the focus stacking, uh, I think focus stacking and maybe some other, they work only with the Olympus lens. Same thing in Panasonic. If you put an Olympus uh, lens on a Panasonic, there are some function features that work just with their lens and not with the Olympus one. So uh, always try to stay in the same brand. The way you see, it's really nice. So to give you an idea, this comes with a, a well, a David used it with a 17, uh, 1.8, uh, 17 millimeter, which is small. Uh, maybe for street photography, people like a wider angle, maybe like 20, the equivalent of 28 or 24 millimeter. Uh, there is a 12 millimeter by Olympus f2 equivalent of 24 but it's quite expensive so depends on the budget of every every person obviously you could put the same as my 1240 the equivalent of a 2480 but that makes quite a big camera and it loses a bit the purpose of a small camera but don't think this is that small it's not much actually you look at the back it looks even bigger than my em5 uh, mark ii but the feeling is that it is small, it's compact, it's nice. You have it in your hand, it's nice. Uh, David uses it with, a, with a, a case also, so it's really nice camera. It, he also has the, the front part, so you can actually uh, cover everything. And uh, you can put any lens on it, any micro four third, obviously. And if you want a lens that is not micro four third, like a Leica lens or Volander or whatever, you can use an adapter. You have the focus peaking, so you can actually manual focus and know exactly where it's focused. In the back, you have less button than on mine, so it's less, not as easy to configure. You have a, a flip screen, uh, a flip screen, flip and can orient the, 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 the screen completely. And you have the viewfinder on the left, so it means it's like a telemet uh, it's like rangefinder photography. You actually look with your right eye and you can actually open your eye and see the whole scene. So for street photography is great because you actually see what is happening. You can decide to reframe your picture. And here's this only point I found that is not good. Uh, that's a bit of a design mistake. First, the viewfinder is not as good as mine. It's more like the first EM5, but that's not a problem. The only problem I found that here, as all mirrorless, you can actually configure that it jump from screen to viewfinder automatically when you put your face on the viewfinder. But the light detector here, the face detector is here. So it means that when it's very sunny and the sun comes from my back, if I put my eye on the viewfinder, the sun goes through here. Maybe it's because I've got glasses, I cannot get close enough. And it makes the camera think my face is not there. So it switch off the viewfinder and switch on the lens. No, it switch on the screen. It means that if they had put this small detector on the left, when my face is here, it will always cover the detector, so I would not have that problem. This is the only uh, lead imperfection I found, okay? But otherwise, the camera is really great to use. Been putting some uh, videos and uh, some uh, pictures, so you can uh, have a look at, uh, at the quality. It's very similar to what I have, it's uh, Olympus, and uh, the quality is great. Colors, everything, and resolution. Uh, this is great for street photography, uh, take into account that it has a great body stabilization. It means that with any lens it, would, it will work. And also uh, for street in low light, street photography low light or indoor, it doesn't matter, but low light, uh, the, the, this uh, great uh, stabilization is really good because it's going to help you to really have low uh, speed unless the subject is moving. You can uh, no problem make a third of a second and uh, if you hold your breath no problem it will be it will be okay no although people criticize uh micro four third for uh, bad result with high iso 
you don't need to put ISO that high because you can really lower the speed except if you would be doing a sport photography for example okay then you need to keep some speed for the subject normally on my Olymp Olympus I never uh, go over 1600 ISO very often I don't even reach 800 ISO I don't need to and with a camera like this it's likely uh, with a luminous lens like this one I'm sure on night you will not go over 800 ISO and the quality is it's fine it's perfect so this is a really good tool for uh for that kind of photography street reportage all this okay i'm doing some vlogging testing the sound is direct from the camera i don't know if it's good or not uh, i have no, no idea if you can listen to it or not uh, just testing for the first time i flipped the the screen towards me uh, it's sunset so the sun is really low on the horizon and the light is uh, quite hard but uh, I think a camera like this that uh, lets you make pictures, obviously as a camera, a photographic camera, but also uh, to have this flip screen um, allows you to have a, a, maybe a, a camera that is uh, useful for several things, uh, not just pictures, but also vlogging. So when traveling, it can be great to document uh, what you say or, or make so for a YouTube channel or whatever. So I've just checked the video. Yes, you can hear the sound. And uh, I would say that the problem is I'm using a 17 millimeter, the equivalent of 34 in full frame. And uh, maybe it's uh, too narrow for uh, vlogging. Maybe a wider angle would be better, like a 714, but would be a big lens. Or there are some other options in Olympus, but also in other made, uh, other brands. And uh, maybe a wider lens for vlogging would be better. But uh, I think it's okay for, for documenting what, what you see. Or, or yeah or vlogging that, that's fine and the flip screen is perfect for that and uh, the stabilization is also okay I'm working as you can see it's acceptable you know it's really nice okay I was editing the video and just so that I forgot to say two things here you have a USB connector and you have a micro uh, HDMI connector but there is no connector for external microphone for me it wouldn't be a problem because I use a separate recorder but for someone who wants to plug a, a lapel uh, microphone to the camera or have a microphone on top of the camera, that's uh, a problem. Uh, by the way, this is the external flash that comes with it. You can put it here. You have a hot shoe here. If you take the protection, you have a hot shoe here. Uh, as there is no integrated flash, but uh, Olympus includes this small flash, which works really well. They do the same on all their cameras, and I think it's very practical. Would I buy, would I buy this, uh, this camera? No. Why? Because I already have an Olympus, e, well, I've got two actually, EM5 Mark II, and uh, otherwise I would probably buy it. But there's one small point that uh, you have to take into account. This one is not dust and uh, splash proof. And uh, it means that if you're going to go to rainy places or tropical uh, places, that may be a problem for you. I asked why it was like this. I never got an official answer, but someone told me that it's because it's all hand mounted. There is no space to put anything to stop dust or whatever. But otherwise, normally you don't put your camera in the dust. But it depends on the kind of reportage you're doing. Uh, that may be important to you. And also, it means that if you don't want a big lens, you can get like the 12, uh, well, the 14, 42, I think. This is not, uh, it's not a pro lens. It's not uh, protected against dust, dust and splash proof. It's not a problem. The body is not either. So you're not going to use that in the rain. So it makes you a compact, uh, compact lens. It's not as uh, bright, uh, luminous, I would should say, as the 12, 40, 2.8 I have but uh, that's uh, if you need a zoom lens it's great lens to have on this because it's small there is a pancake version also so i think this camera is great and now with the prices that we, we're seeing this is a great opportunity uh, to get it at a good price will the new one be better obviously they put uh, they will put some new thing in there uh, at a higher price tag so you have two options if you want it get it now it's the right time if you want it a bit cheaper, wait the new one comes out really because the price of this one will drop a bit more or maybe you will not find it unless it's second hand. And uh, if you want the new one, the latest, then wait until it comes out. But right now, this is a great opportunity. I think this camera is great and uh, any street photographer uh, that wants micro filtered should think seriously about this, this camera. Well, that's it. Thank you very much, David, for uh, lending me the camera. 
Uh, thank you to you for watching the, the, the video. Thank you to you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There is a subscribe button below and uh, also a small bell if you touch it. Uh, then you, get, you will get notified when I, I upload some new videos. If you have any questions, leave a comment or send me an email to info at rgbo.com, my website rgbo.com. And also, uh, please, if you're going to get anything from Amazon of my list, do it with my list. It gives you a small commission. Thank you very much. Goodbye.